Hi, my name is Denise Hara. We have here today with us Care Rescue Board President Leslie Clements. Hi, Hi. Leslie. Hi. How are you today? I'm good. So who do you have here with you? This is um, Chocolate. Chocolate is a 12-week-old Basset mix, and um, she's available for adoption through Care Animal Rescue. So what comes with her adoption? Um, the adoption fee is $25, and that's in that includes all the shots that she's had up to now. She's had all, all of her series and her deworming, so the only thing that would come next would be her rabies when she's old enough, um, which is this week. She just turned 12 weeks, so she's just now available for that. And we can go ahead and get that, and that would also be included. So um, what will CARE, like, um, have her fixed? Now, she's just now, hey, 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 she's just now of age um, to get the rabies, and she can be fixed at four months. We kind of like to wait till they're five or six months, and we can get you a low-cost voucher to have that done. If she stays in the program until she is of age, then she will be fixed before she's adopted, but if she were adopted tomorrow, then I would give you a voucher to have that done in a month or so. Oh. Okay, great. So what's her backstory? Where did chocolate come from? She came um, from a pregnant mom out of Mineral Wells, and we helped um, get the mom spayed after the puppies were weaned, and then she's out of a litter of, I believe, eight or nine. It's only her and her sister, Color, that are left. So everyone else has found great homes. Oh, how sweet. That's mm -hmm. great. So where is CARE located? CARE is located in Strawn, Texas. Our address is in Strawn, Texas. That's where it started seven years ago, but we have fosters in Erath County, Palo Pinto County, Eastland County, and Hood County. Okay, so what's a foster? A foster is, um, it's just basically a home away from, from home where they can go um, from the time they're unwanted or lost until they find a forever home, and that's, you take them in as, a, as like a foster child and nurture oh. them and take care of them. That's sweet. So um, what types of animals does CARE take in? We do cats, um, mostly in dogs. We have had a couple donkeys and a duck um, at one time, but um, primarily it's cats and dogs. It sounds like fun. Sounds like <laughs> it, is, it is a lot of fun. So what are the adoption requirements if someone were interested in chocolate? We just ask that you're ready for an animal and that you understand that um, getting an animal is a lifetime commitment you know, through the duration of that animal's life, that you have um, an adequate fence so that they can go out and get exercise, and that you're just prepared for the financial costs that come along with owning an animal as well. Okay, so let's say someone weren't so prepared, you know, maybe later on down the road they wanted to adopt. If they wanted to foster or volunteer to help out with CARE, how would they get involved doing that? You can reach us by going to um, careforrescue.com, and the four is the number four, careforrescue.com, and that will take you straight to our pet finder page. It will take you to our Facebook page and give you our address and our telephone numbers to contact us on. That's awesome. So what if someone were interested in more of like an adult dog? Do y'all have other dogs available for adoption now? We have all sizes, ages. Um, we have several right now. We have, uh, let's see, Jimmy T, which is at my house. <laughs> he happens to be a Border Collie Aussie mix. He's about two, neutered male. We have Buddy, who's a German Shepherd mix. He's about eight months old at headquarters. We have Bella, who is a, um, we think she's a Pitbull Terrier mix, and she's about two. She's spayed and ready to go. So we have several options. We have cats and kittens and, and just a whole variety of animals that you could adopt. That's great. So um, does CARE usually welcome volunteers? Yes, we love volunteers. That's what makes our group stay as strong as it is um, because not one person could do this. It takes a variety of people with different talents to keep this thing going. Okay. So if someone were interested, um, or was not able to foster or adopt or volunteer, how would they be able to donate? You can donate by going to careforrescue.com um, and it'll, you can donate through there, through our PayPal. All those donations are tax deductible. You can take them to our vet clinics. Um, you can get on Facebook and, and ask where to drop off a cash donation. Um, we can always take, we like blankets and newspapers and toys and treats and collars as well, so. That's great. So is there anything you'd like to add about care or chocolate? Um, just that chocolate's ready for a new home. Right now she's in the early stages of being a baby, so this is when training is, is crucial and teach her to sit and tricks. And right now she just wants to take a nap, I think. But <laughs> <laughs> How sweet. And just uh, go to careforrescue.com and check us out. Sure, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Um, and now back to you, Bailey.